Neighbors in Rockdale County are continuing to clean up after last week's EF2 tornado that tore through homes and businesses. This morning, we know all roads are back open, but crews are still hard at work removing some debris. Teresa Bowles has a closer look at where things stand right now. Gary Williams house on McDaniel Mill Road was supposed to be passed down to his son. Now I'm buying materials for the house trying to get it back together before it rained next Wednesday. Because an EF2 tornado ripped through. All the pine cones were slamming into the house so hard it sounded like huge boulder. Changing Williams plans and likely the plans for the entire Briarwood community. To a part of the roof, uh, snatch my power line and um, breaker over there off. Um, I mean, tore up the fences, trees uprooted. My living room was flooded. And I opened the front door and all that was there was trees, <laughs> just trees everywhere. We couldn't get out of the driveway for, you know, Wednesday and Thursday. County officials spent Saturday morning cleaning up. Rockdale County Emergency Management Director Meredith Barnum saying, quote, we have several nonprofit volunteer groups working with citizens to remove debris from private property and move it to the right of way for collection. They worked hard. They really did. And they worked through the night. The trees may be out of the way, but the price to fix the damage they knocked through is coming out of Williams pockets. Electrical, I had to repay, you know, pay for that, and that was like $6,000. Williams said while the Red Cross helped, he was disappointed the county or state couldn't too. They told me no state funding and they don't have no disaster relief. It's like a slap in the face to me. He said it will take months of work to get back to normal. Though several neighbors are pleased with the first steps. I appreciate everything. Others, while grateful to be alive, were hoping for more. It's like you just stuck. The house we can repair, but life we can't give back. EMA Director Barnum also said there may be more temporary closures tomorrow just to get some of those larger stumps and trunks out of the way. And for anyone who needs it, there is a disaster relief shelter at Conyers Methodist Church on Main Street.